First up right now at 5 o'clock, we start with the Channel 3 exclusive. Suspects here wanted in a nationwide crime spree taken into custody one by one right here in Connecticut. Thanks for joining us, everybody. They're accused of ripping off Lowe's stores all across the country. Yeah, check this out. The suspects, all from Texas, are now facing charges. One was even wanted by the Secret Service. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones joins us live from Southington with some new video of that arrest. Marcy, what can you tell us? Well, Shantae and Mark, Channel 3 received this body camera footage just a few hours ago, and the most striking part out of all the arrests is actually when an officer takes a few moments to assist a suspect with something that might surprise you. Channel 3 has exclusive videos from the suspects heading into police custody this morning. Southington police sharing this body camera footage of the three arrests made stemming from a theft case that broke wide open Wednesday afternoon. The three suspects were caught trying to buy $7,000 worth of copper wire with a fraudulent Lowe's account. Things escalated when police zeroed in on the three suspects who split up. One was arrested inside of the Lowe's gardening area. Another suspect stopped to talk to an officer, but then took off in his car before getting handcuffed at a nearby Dunkin' Donuts. In the third arrest, officers offered a very human moment to the suspect, She's on FaceTime. letting him FaceTime with his mother. At one point, even giving her the directions to Lowe's. We're at 500 Executive Boulevard in Southington. And a play-by-play -play of why they were taking her son into custody. Channel 3 spoke with a Lowe's employee who says he's grateful for the swift police action. They can't be here all the time. There's a lot of stores that are calling them for shoplifting every day. So thank the Lord they caught a couple. Police say that the Lowe's loss prevention team had tracked these three suspects when they tried to pull the same stun at two previous Lowe's stores in Connecticut. Reporting live in Southington, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. It is